I think this is recording, right? I have, um, oh, I don't actually have a preview. I've forgotten this. It's been a while since I've recorded on my laptop. Um, but I, I didn't want to, like, obviously it's not feasible to drag my desktop down here. So I don't know X split, so apparently I don't have a preview of what the hell the camera positioning looks like and stuff, uh, or audio levels, but I don't know. We'll just wing it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Um, so this is actually, I said I was going to do a, uh, a video log on Bach at one point. I figured this would be a good time, right? Um, it's also nice that I'm using my laptop because I don't, uh, I haven't shaved in a week, so because of the laptop, camera quality is shitty, you can't tell that. Uh, and also, I was dressed today, I didn't walk around in like gym, gym shit, because uh, I actually had a teacher later. But, it's actually really windy outside right now. Um, yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a, a video log on good old Bash. So, a lot of people are familiar with Bach, I'm not necessarily familiar with the extent of his work, but they've heard about him, right? I mean, he was this musical genius. Um, easily, like, hands down the greatest composer that ever lived, uh, and, and most likely ever will. Uh, his mind was just disgustingly amazing. Um, and I'll try and convey that at some point in the future. Um, probably not. This is just a brief general introduction. I, I figured I would go into the Art of Fugue, um, the Kunst der Fuga, and that's... It's one of his later works. Uh, he uses one subject, right, one melody, and he uses that melody to write as the basis for uh, 14 fugues and four canons. So 18, 18 pieces, right? You have an, over an hour and a half of music, and they're all written using the same melody. And like to, to be able to accomplish that and for it not to get boring um, is like one of the greatest achievements that you could possibly fathom. Uh, from a from a musical art, artistic standpoint, so there are a lot of different rules uh, and stuff for writing fugues. Uh, I won't go into all of them because it's it's it would be just over the scope of what I'm able to do here in whatever like 15 minutes or whatever. Uh, so I let's see, let's start with tonality, right? So you have everybody knows about keys, right? You sing a key, C major. its own dominant, right? The dominant is a, is the fifth scale degree. So think about a scale, right? You have eight notes in a scale. The fifth note, the dominant. So why, why is it called the dominant? Because it, it's so dominant that it wants to propel the music back to the home key, right? So you have C major. so goddamn organized. All right. This is an organ fugue that I'm learning right now. Um, we have one, two, three. That's what we get. All right. So the subject of a fugue is like the melody. Um, the the fugue you can think of it as a different different form of song, right? You have you have like songs, you have leader. Um, there are sonatas, there are symphonies, right? You're all familiar with this. Uh, the fugue is propelled and expounded on this single subject, right? This single idea. You could have multiple subjects. I mean, the last the last fugue in the Art of Fugue is a, is a four subject work in four different voices. Um, it's incredibly complex, but generally you have like, you have one subject throughout, throughout a fugue. Uh, the subject of this one, this is an organ fugue, obviously. I can't play, I don't know if this is the greatest thing to pick because I can't play the pedal. Obviously I don't have organ on me. the 
the subject. Now, the subject is meant here in every voice that there is in the few, and then that's going to be the end of the exposition, right? So what are, what are different voices? They're different registers. You can literally think about them as a choir. You have a soprano, you have an alto, you have a tenor, and you have a bass. Since this is in four voices, we can use those, right? You have a soprano up here, tenor, alto, and then the bass, which is the organ pedal, obviously. Um, so we see, where does it go next? It's always going to go to the dominant. It's going to be tonic, and then dominant, and then back to tonic again, right? So for G minor, Listen for the subject to come in and 
It's, I mean, the entire thing is, is amazingly fascinating um, about all of the different, uh, all the different qualities that go into to making, uh, composing one. So this is a subject that Bach uses for the art of fugue. Um, this is Contrapuntus I, uh, the first fugue, obviously, that he uses. Uh, again, there are 14, um, and they each develop in complexity. So at the end, obviously, you have a four-subject fugue that's invertible and used in augmentation, diminution, all these different things that I, I will definitely cover in, at some extent, but they're out of the scope of this, this first one. Uh, so I guess I'll just play through this. That's, that's a great, I mean, the entire work is just amazing. Um, so I hope the audio doesn't clip. Uh, I don't have my pop filter down here. I probably should get it. Uh, if it does, I'll just, I'll just do it again. No worries.
Contrapoint to Swan from uh, The Art of Jiu. You have, I mean you've heard it in the coda, right? There are two, there were two versions of this. Um, there's kind of like an alternate version where it ends at, on the pick or D third after the, the final uh, A7. But then here you hear in the alto voice, right? subject, you don't have uh, all that much else going on. There's the only one of the counter subjects uh, is this in the four. So this is he goes on, this is the second second uh, figure eight. I won't play this all the way through, but it's 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 really fun to play. measures you get to measure 118 second subject subject as the main subject 
is in this. And so we have the third subject is actually Bach, right? <laughs>